Hey there guys, it's Tina and I am back and it is time for part three of my makeup collection. So you see back there behind me, we have part three coming at you in this video. So we're going to go through that side of my collection. Now I'm not going to go too in depth because I did a couple of videos showcasing my MAC makeup collection because there's some MAC over there. So I will leave that video linked here. I will also leave the other two videos videos and I will leave the links also in the description box so you can check them out if you want to see more parts of my collection but without much further ado let's go ahead and jump into this part of my makeup collection so here we have the other side of my collection so on top again I have like decorative pieces, nothing too crazy. I have a candle on this side that just looks pretty, right? Then I have my Moschino and Sephora little eyeshadow palette that's shaped like a bear. I've never used this. In fact, I don't think I've ever even swatched it. But this is just a bear palette, right? Everybody went crazy over this. And I got my hands on this guy and I just use it for decoration. So go figure. This is a bear from MAC Cosmetics. It is from their Tartan Tail Collection and it was for a charity for kids helping kids. So I thought this was really cute and I bought it and I've collected it and used it for decorative purposes. We have this P. Louise eyeshadow palette that I can't do anything with apart from like display it because it's so bulky. It's just ridiculous. This is the Secret Sinner eyeshadow palette. And the eyeshadows are really beautiful, bold, colorful shades, but they feel kind of gritty to the touch. Not the most luxurious or smooth eyeshadows, but I don't use them anyway. I keep them for decorative purposes. I have a Sony Kashuk brush set that I never open, and I love the design on the handles, so I just use it for decoration again. I'll probably never open this. I'll just kind of hang it up as a display piece. And then I have my Consumer's Dictionary of Cosmetic Ingredients. So if there's an ingredient that I'm like a little bit skeptical about, I can easily pull this out. I got this off of Amazon, but you can read through different ingredients. And it will even give you details on what this ingredient is used for in different cosmetics. So I picked this up. You can always Google the ingredients, of course, but I love having this handy dandy printed version. So if I'm ever curious, I can just grab this. Now let's go ahead and move into the actual drawers in the collection. So at the very top, I have a couple of those slim drawers, the acrylic drawers that are very thin, easy to organize lip products. So in here, I have my lip tonics from Kaleidos Cosmetics. These were sent to me by Kaleidos Cosmetics. And the first set of these are very liquidy, very thin, and they're more like a lip stain so they're not like um liquid lipsticks the typical liquid lipsticks these are like very thin watery lip stains and they feel very cooling on the skin and i wasn't in love with these that's why i never really spoke about them you can see like they're very thin just wash of color shades right then they have these two glittery ones it's like no nah. And this one is mesmerized. Let's see how dark this one is because this one seems like the richest one. This is a gloss actually. Okay, so you see like these aren't like things that I would gravitate towards, but then they released these more intense ones. This one is a metallic. Let me tell you how stunning. When I say stunning, this these lip colors are the red ones. Oh my god, and then the matte one. Oh my god. Pair these together, it's like heaven. They're so pretty. So the matte one is ambition, and then the shimmery one is collision. That is gorgeous. These, mm, not so much, but yeah, these are interesting. I want to see if they come out with more pigmented ones. I want to see what they do with that, but these weren't my favorite ones. Next to that, I have my L'Oreal lip creams as well as my Kevin Aquan Glow Lip Glosses. So these were all sent to me by the brand. So Kevin Aquan released these glass glow up lip glosses with their glossy skin highlight products. And uh, mm, I'm just not into these. I think 
I can probably get rid of these. Maybe I'll keep the clear the clear one because it's like a beautiful iridescent purple. Like it looks, maybe it looks too milky. I don't know. Um, I think I can probably get rid of these. I'm not really like in love with these at all. I didn't intend to declutter, but like if I see that I'm not using them, I might as well get rid of them. And then these liquid lip colors were sent by L'Oreal. And I love this shade, but I have other products like this, like that specific color. I might keep this color, but like the other ones, I don't see myself using them. And I actually think this is unopened, so I can actually give these away. Perfect, so I'm gonna give these away. I'm gonna look for the ones that are opened and keep the ones that are opened and give the ones that aren't open away. Great. Then I have a deeper drawer with my Guerlain Meteorites and my Guerlain Loose Face Powder. Okay, Guerlain that I am reflecting in. Do you see me? What does my shirt say? Can you read it? Yeah. So this is my Guerlain Loose Powder. Do you guys remember this? Okay, this might be really messy. Let me be careful. Oh my god. This is their Loose Face Powder. I love this powder. I'm going to actually put this in my daily collection like on my desk so I can use it because I love this powder and then I have two of their meteorites so the meteorites come in these little cans and this shade is door it's number four. Oh my god can oh there we go so number four is the darkest one that they have and it has these dark balls. So what you do is you get your brush, you swirl it around, and you pick up some of the color and then dust it all over your face. This is used as like a finishing powder to buff over your skin to give you a slight glow to the skin. And then this was a special edition one. This one is called the Pearls Carousel. This one had like pinky pearls in it. And I thought this was such a pretty color. So. Those are my only two meteorites. I realize that I don't use them enough, so I just never collected the rest, but this powder I'm just gonna put on top of my desk. This is another one of the deeper drawers and it has highlighters and blushes in here. So I have different highlighters from different brands. Too Faced, Makeup Revolution, MAC Makeup Forever, and so on and so forth. This is a drawer with blushes like I mentioned and some highlighters. This one from MAC is so pretty. This is called Here Comes Joy and it's a face powder, but it's a opalescent face powder. So it had the snowflake embossing and then it's a lightweight like shimmery powder but it's not like hardcore highlighter status. It's just a glowy powder that you can probably have all over the face to give you a beautiful shine without being glittery or overwhelming. I have my Bella blush from Juvia's Place. This is such a stunning color. These are my three blushes from Revolution and I love these. These are their matte blushes. So this one is Fusion. You've probably seen me use this a lot. This is New Rules and then this one is Nude. And then I have the Pro Sculpting Duos from Makeup Forever. I think I just have one because I gave away the lighter one so this is the deeper shade which was number two so this had the kind of satin bronzing powder and then the golden highlight on one side then I have the luminizers that they released after which was just a single so this is the single shade of this highlighter and then this is the lighter highlighter from the other duo the one that I gave away so that's the bronzer that's the golden highlighter, and then that's the really light highlighter. Then I have my little Papa Don't Peach blush from Too Faced. This I use as a like a blush topper or highlighter. It is too light for me to use as a blush, so obviously it would be like a highlighter for me. This is one of the Dose of Colors Supreme Highlighters again. This one is Melanade, and it is one of my favorite shades from them, so I kept it in this drawer, because this drawer used to be on my desk. And I kept some of my favorite blushes and highlighters in here and like look at look at it. Love this! 
Then we have two of the blushes from Laura Geller. So these are their Baked Blush and Brighten. So I have Sun Swept and Tropic Hues. I think this one I got as PR, I think so. But this is a beautiful color. These, I don't know, Laura Geller is not getting a lot of love and I don't see them releasing too many things, at least not, not that I know of. But these again would be like more like blush toppers because they're very glowy and pretty, but they're not dark enough to be blushes on my skin. Then I have this Black Up Sublime Powder in number two. And this one is a beautiful like, it's like a peachy orangey gold, right? That's stunning. This is a, this would make a beautiful blush topper highlighter combo on me, right? And then this is the Golden Hour Highlighter from Sephora. I don't even know if they still, I think they still have this. This is a stunning highlighter, right? And then here we have my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. This is in medium dark, so I had the lighter one. I don't know what I did with it. I probably decluttered it or gave it away, but I got the darker one as well, just to see if it would match me better. And I mean, it, it, it's okay, it shows up on my skin, but how is this dark? Like, what, what, how is this? Let me show you. How is this a dark shade? You see, it shows up a bit, but like, who, what, huh? Medium, yes, dark, no. And then the, it doesn't go because the highlighter makes sense for deeper skin. But the, what, what, I, I don't, I don't even, I don't even know. I'ma just, yeah, that, that's it, that's, that's this drawer. Then under that, in another deeper drawer, I have some more of my highlighters, bronzers, and contour products. This drawer is fun. So I have my single hourglass strobe light powder. This is euphoric. I actually got rid of, I think I had two or three, three of these, and I got rid of these because they're just, I don't like these. I like their ambient lighting powders, but the strobe light powders have like glitter in them. Cause you remember when strobin was a thing? What was that? What were we doing? So this has glitter in it, which I don't like, but this one was the most subtle one. So I kept that one. I have their mood exposure blush. This should probably go in my blush drawer, but I love that blush. I have a couple of highlighters from Colab. So this is a Sally Beauty brand. This shade is out of this world. It's their The Filter Highlighting Powder. So what this brand was centered around was collaborations with influencers and they created a ton of products that the influencers, I guess, had some say in. So they have highlight, like they have a whole range, like highlighters, bronzers, eyeshadow palettes, um, concealer, foundation, the works, right? And I collected a few items from this brand. This shade is Glow Insane because I was like, all right, I wanna do an overview of the brand and I wanna do like a full breakdown. But then the brand reached out to me and they were like, oh, we wanted to see if we could send you things in exchange for a video and I'm like here are my rates if you want a full review here are my rates and they were like oh no we just wanted to send you things and then you can do a video in exchange for the products and I'm like yeah no so I never did the video I was just so turned off by the whole thing I was like yeah you ain't getting nothing out of me so this is a blush from pretty vulgar it's the shade pretty witty I don't know if I purchased this or if this was in a boxycharm but it's like a tan blush which I actually really like tan blushes because I think they look very natural on my skin. This is a highlighter and I actually have two of these. This is the shade Glimmers of BS and it's their Shimmerin' Swan highlighters. This is way too light for me. In fact, I can probably get rid of this highlighter because I don't really like, you know what, I don't really like it. I'm gonna get rid of those. Then we have two Milani highlighters. These are their strobe lights. This one is Sun Glow, which is number three. It's pretty, right? This is a pretty color. It's a light champagne. I can probably get rid of that too. And then this one is Glowin', which is number four. I don't really use these highlighters, even though I like them. I like this one. Okay, I'll keep this one get rid of that one and the collab ones I can get rid of the lightest one. Oh, didn't know I was gonna declutter right there but there you go. This brand I'm not gonna talk about on my channel but we have a milk makeup highlighter. This is their holographic highlighting powder 
which shade is this this is mars this is so pretty it's a beautiful like peachy pink duochrome can you see the duochrome oh my god this highlighter is really pretty i like pinky golden duochrome highlighter so i'm gonna keep that pretty one and then i have this little bobby brown shimmer brick it's one of their minis and the shade is bronze so this is like the deepest one they have and I never got into Bobbi Brown shimmer bricks, but this one I said, oh, it's a small size. And of course it was cheaper. So I was like, all right. And this color, this color is stunning. So definitely keep in. Then we have contour powders from Kevin Aquan and a highlighter. So this is the highlighter. This is the shade Candlelight. So this is their signature shade, which is a very light shade, but it's also a very lightweight shade that you can really blend out and it gives that candlelight glow i'm keeping that this is their contour powder in medium and then this one is deep so that's this drawer another one of the deeper drawers i have nars bronzers powders highlighters blushes and some of my long home dual finish highlighters as well as a black up contour in duo in this drawer like i said i have nars products but i also have like a contour duo from black up this is shade number three what happened to black up are they still available in the uk and they're just not available in sephora anymore this duo i mean come on this has an rng undertone and then this powder is like a bronzy shade this is actually a really beautiful like bronzer duo for me then i have two of the highlighter powders from lancome these are the dual finish highlighters and this shade is dazzling bronze i just wow i dug into that but these are so pretty and no one talks about these but these are so gorgeous. I think Lancome gets a bad rap as like your grandma's makeup. Like it's what your mother wears. It's what your grandmother wears, but not you like hip and cool people. You cool cats and kittens. So this one is Radiant Rose Gold. This is stunning as well. Like, come on, right? I don't know like why no one loves them but they're gorgeous then the nars products i have i think i have pressed powders and bronzers so this is i can't pronounce that so you do with that what you may but this is one of their bronzing powders remember when they came out with these bronzing powders but that's a beautiful shade of bronzer this is ibiza which i think is a highlighter yeah, that's definitely a highlight. Oh, that's pr Ooh, pretty. Then this one is from the Man Ray collection, and this is a highlighter. The shade name is Double Take, and this is so gorgeous. Look at that. Man, listen. This is another highlighter. It's Maldives, or the Maldives. It's Maldives, right? It's like a rosy pink nude. That's pretty too. Then their older pressed powder. So this is Valley that I use as a contour. This is Casino, which is one of their bronzers. This is a duo in Hot Sand and Casino bronzer and highlighter. This is a setting powder in Mountain. I actually really like this as a highlighting matte powder. And then this one is another bronzer, which is Heat. Then the next drawer is one of the four section wider drawers where I have different lip products and it's easy to divide them by brand. This is perfect for organizing these lip products. So I have Estee Lauder liquid lipsticks. I have some of my Pat McGrath original lip products, Black Up Cosmetics and Huda Beauty. And I also have some of my lip glosses here. These are clear lip glosses and lip oils that I grab for a lot during the summer because I like a beautiful glossy lip. Then we have another four section divided drawer. We have Stila liquid lips. We have some from Fiona Styles and Urban Decay. We have some Milani liquid lip products and of course Makeup Forever liquid lipsticks as well. Here is another one of the four section organizers that I removed one of the dividers so it now becomes a two drawer organizer. And these have a lot of NYX Cosmetics, Wet n Wild, Milani and Maybelline in here. So I have, for instance, lip slips from NYX, Vivid Lacquers from Maybelline, Amore Shines from Milani, some of the liquid suede from NYX Cosmetics, and so on and so forth. 
Down here I have all my Urban Decay lip glosses that were sent to me. Absolutely love these. I kept a couple of Laura Geller liquid lipsticks for reference and a Lorac Pro liquid lipstick again for formula reference. But isn't this beautiful down here? Love these. Now this drawer is just full of glitter and fun. So we have these liquid glitter eyeshadow toppers similar to the Stila Glitter and Glow. So we have those from Wet n Wild. These are the liquid cat suits. I have a couple from Pixie by Petra. I have one ColourPop one. I decluttered the majority of these. These are so awful. I couldn't stand them. I have the Hypnotic Lights from Milani. I have some from Essence, Cover Effects, and Flower Beauty and NYX Cosmetics. I also have a few from Touch and Soul, which to me, they're kind of like the originator of the glitter cream eyeshadows. I'm just saying. And then down here we have loose powders. Not very exciting at all, but I have a few from Laura Mercier, NARS, Too Faced, Cover Effects. I even have a couple from Becca. And of course we have the Sasha Buttercup setting powder that everybody that's of a darker skin tone should have in their collection. Then moving on to the other side. Look at this organization. Isn't this beautiful? I mean, come on. You can't tell me this isn't stunning. So these are the majority of my Lit Cosmetics glitters. If I want to glitter, this is where I go. I have so many of these. Any color that I want, any size that I want, any sparkle that I'm going for, I have them here. I also have a couple of their liquid, what do they call them? Liquid metals that were more of a loose metallic eyeshadow. They, I, what happened to Lit Cosmetics? They're not really popping that much anymore because people aren't really into glitter and they never truly diversified their products that they have available for purchase. And they're no longer sold in Sephora either. So, hmm, wonder what happened. Then we have more lip products. So I have a couple of tube lipsticks from NYX Cosmetics. These are their suede lipsticks, which are absolutely beautiful. They're like a matte, but they're very lightweight, giving you powdery finish. I have lip glosses, the pigmented lip glosses from Smashbox. Really thick, but really beautiful. One from the MAC Cosmetics. I think it was, yeah, the Oh Sweetie collection. Those had the definitive smell, so it smelled like whatever it was describing. Like, like this one is Strawberry Tort, and it smells like strawberries. Then I have one from, I believe, yeah, L'Oreal is one of those galaxy glosses. And then the rest are from Becca Cosmetics. Here we have some more lip products. So I have my Kevin Aquan lip glosses, all the shiny fun things. I have a couple more from Becca as well. This was from the Chrissy Teigen collection. I have a couple of Flower Cosmetics products. These are really beautiful. I kept these. These are the matte lipsticks. These are actually pretty nice. I have two of the pressed cheek and lip products from Flesh and a couple of miscellaneous things from Urban Decay and from Tarte. Here's a throwback drawer, okay? These are from Illa Masca. Do you guys remember Illa Masca? These are their single eyeshadows. Oh my god. I also have some of their liquid metal eyeshadows and some of their loose pigments. And then I also just have my Sydney Grace loose pigments in here that were sent to me. So this drawer brings back so many memories. I remember when I was so in love with the Illa Masca eyeshadows. I collected so many of them and I used to use them religiously. They're still online. This is the shade Sadith, but like their matte colors were so good. And this is where I could enjoy my love of matte because their mattes were divine. This is the shade Burst. I mean, look at that. These were so good, guys. I mean, they still are, I'm sure, but they aren't as accessible anymore. And then they had these liquid metal shadows. So these are cream eyeshadows. This one is sweating because obviously it is older. I should probably get rid of these now, but it, they're still pretty. I bet they smell like crayons. Actually, no, it still smells. It actually smells like um, vanilla, like that vanilla max smell. That's surprising. That's a different smell. They also have their loose pigments. So these are called their pure pigments. 
this one was or let me see if I can open it oh my god the packaging too was just signature Illamasqua right are they still using this packaging or have they changed I'd be surprised if they're still using it because it's like really old school so this is or and come look at this Illamasqua was it like doing it like that just looks wet and my skin tone right and I remember people going crazy over like this red shade this is demon because reds we couldn't get them here in the states and even if you try to order this online and have it shipped to you you couldn't get it shipped to the US which was very interesting because in the UK they could have those shades but in the US we had restrictions on red pigments so we couldn't get our hands on these so this one is the loose pigment in Berber again you couldn't get these before and they loosened up the shipping which is why I was able to get this finally but yeah, Elamasco was doing it. And then, like I said, I have a few of my loose pigments from Sydney Grace. I did a whole video on these. This was when they released like their dual chrome pigments. I'll swatch this one because this one is my favorite. This is Comforting Light. And I just love that dual chrome on that. So these were their multi-chrome pigments. I think these were a limited edition, but yeah, these were stunning. So that is this drawer. These are some more glitters. Oh my god. So I have my matte glitters. I have like the original ones, the ones in the new jars, and then I have a ton from Magnolia Makeup. And these are just beautiful, stunning glitters. I also have ones from Makeup Forever, LA Splash. Yeah, just stunning glitters. I mean, if I need a glitter, I told you, I got it. I don't really use glitter, so don't judge me. Here's another throwback drawer. Oh my god. So these are like the larger style eyeshadows from MAC. So this drawer will look familiar to a lot of you guys because I already covered this in my MAC collection video where I went through everything that I own from MAC. But these are their larger eyeshadows and this is one of their mega metals. So they did this collection with this new formula and they had them in the larger pans and I got all of them because I love them. This one is center stage. This one is hot paprika and they still apply so well. I don't know why Matt got rid of this formula. Did they get rid of it? I think they did, right? This one is a pro longwear eyeshadow. They've gotten rid of these bigger pans and they started doing much smaller pans now. Like this shade is modern pewter and this was one of the extra dimension um, eyeshadows but like I said they did away with the bigger pans and now they have them in these smaller pans this one is actually a pressed pigment in Victorian plum I think this is like yeah a beautiful shimmery dark black and purple with like a little bit of violet reflect like look at this one this is paparazzi right Mac was doing it back in the day with these kinds of shades even this green one, this is Fresh Flare, and this is a Pro Longwear eyeshadow. I want to say this is a Star Trek one. I could be wrong. I don't know. This is Bird of Prey. I don't know if that's Star Trek or not. And then remember when they had done the Metal X Cream eyeshadows? No one liked these because they creased a lot, but this is the shade Gold Carbon, and I really did like this shade. This is such a beautiful, like taupe like a smoky taupe and I'd kept this one because I would just suffer through the creasing just to have that shade all over my eye let me do another pressed pigment because I love these this one is rock candy like look at that glitter people need to put some respect on Mac's name okay Mac was setting the stage like setting the trends back in the day this is what the new age indie brands are following now so don't 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 be tripping on Mac. Mac was hitting. This is black grape. I mean, listen, hello. Look at that. Right? Listen, Mac was all that and a bag of chips back in the day. And this goes to show you just that. This is another throwback drawer. So these are eyeshadows from Mac limited edition collections. They had like these ones. These were the mineralized eyeshadows, but they came out from like different collections where they had the split pans. Then they had like the Disney villains collection. 
Oh my god, and do you guys remember this one? This was a pearl matte. What was it supposed to be? An eyeshadow? Listen, it ain't do nothing, but it's cute. And then, you want to know a real throwback? Rock and Republic makeup. These are their Rock and Republic eyeshadows. I kept a couple of them because, I mean, come on. They were hitting, okay? These were, these were the bomb. Ah, poor Rockin' Republic, mm-mm-mm. This drawer has some fun ones in here. Do you guys remember the Disney Venomous Villains collection? Oh my god, this was my dark magic. And look at this. So they did duos. So one side was darker and more sh Look at this. Look, oh my god. Mac was doing it, guys. You can't tell me, look at, you can't tell me nothing not one thing this one is she who dares come on y'all come on look at the look at this green what and then this blue what come on man and then they've done a collection with all their mineralized eyeshadows like this one is cinder fellow which is just a smoky black and it has like silver and multi-dimensional glitter to it Tell me that isn't a great smoky eye. This one was Dark Indulgence, right? This is such a beautiful, like, smoky green. Look, look at that, like a forest smoke. Oh, look, look, oh my God. This is Guilt by Association. I know a lot of you guys picked this one up. Look how sickening. Oh my God. I feel like I want to pull these out and play with them because just look, look, oh my God, that's stunning. Oh, here's the one that everybody got. This is Young Punk. Are you ready, guys? Oh my god. So these were all like a black base with glitter. Come on, man. Mac, come back to it. Somebody tell me y'all remember Blue Sheen. This is a mineralized eyeshadow as well. Do y'all remember or not? Are you giving Mac their due? I also have some of the duos. So this is Sea and Sky. Look at that blue, like, who are we kidding? Look at that blue. That blue is stunning. And then the sky part was a lighter blue. Come on. Uh, I forget what this jean collection was called, but they had like a print of the back of your jeans. So that's the little button. You know that little button and that's the belt loop. And then I have a couple of Rock and Republic eyeshadows. This packaging was so stunning. These weren't really that great, but I kept them for the packaging. And then I have a couple of the Morphe pressed pigments. So this is designer everything. I had actually picked these up in store. When I went in store and swatched these, I was like, okay, come through Morphe. So I picked a couple of these up. But that is this drawer. And then last up is an assortment of products. So I have glitter Munda shadows from Urban Decay along with their glitter liners, which I think I have the majority of their glitter liners. I love these as like topper eyeshadows. I don't know how good these are anymore. I've had them for a while. I have Suva Beauty Hydro liners. These were sent to me. Um, I'm not a fan of like liquid eyeliners. Like I'm not doing liners like that anymore. So, eh. And then I have these beautiful paints from MAC. Do you guys remember these? Oh my god, I'm sure these are so expired and so dried out, but I'm not giving those up. Those are so cute. <sighs> oh my god. So this is like my nostalgic side of my collection. So there you have it. That is the final set of acrylic drawers in my background. So you can see what I have in these. I keep most of my nostalgic items on this side because I don't really venture on this side as much. So it's good to keep the products that I don't always reach for as much. But I also found some gems that I probably need to pull out some more on this side as well. Alright guys, so hopefully that was fun for you. I'm gonna go ahead and film the other parts now because we have to go through the white drawers that are underneath all those acrylic drawers and I think we're gonna have fun because those are a lot of palettes and like highlighters. I have my blushes down there. I have some things, alright? So we're gonna jump into those next and those are gonna be filmed in three parts too because I have three drawers and I think it's gonna take some time to go through them. The palette collection in the middle, that one there, 
is gonna be extensive so make sure that you are subscribed and if you like this video hit the thumbs up and if you're into notifications then feel free to hit the notifications bell as well I will leave links to my Instagram Twitter and snapchat where you can follow along I also make posts when I post videos so you can keep up that way and until my next video which will be very soon I'll talk to you stay safe and I love you bye guys Thank you.